I think what's of greatest concern to me in my work is participating in a process of social and religious change. Um, I don't see my work as addressed just to or even primarily to the academy. Um, I'm not just writing for other scholars. I want my work to have an impact on the way that Judaism will be in the future um, and the way in which uh, men and women will think about religion um, in the future. I hope that a lot of my work uh, contributes to that goal. I mean, for example, Woman Spirit Rising, which is the um, reader in feminist theology that Carol Christ and I uh, edited in um, 1979, has been very widely used in freshman religion classes, uh, in um, <coughs> women's studies classes, uh, so that I think it's reached people who didn't set out to take a course in the field, but were forced to think new thoughts or encouraged to think new thoughts through our work. Uh, apparently, it's also been used by women in churches and synagogues around the country uh, who have met in small groups and discussed the ideas and I hope gotten the courage to maybe make some changes in their own congregations or decide to be a minister or a rabbi. Uh, because of what they read or creating new liturgy in their congregation or got into an argument with someone. Um, I, I would hope um, that, it ha that it has impact on a lot of different levels. I mean, my book, Standing Again at Sinai, which is my main work and my, my own Jewish feminist theology, uh, has been used by a lot of congregations, a lot of study groups uh, in congregations. And then I, you know, I go and speak on college campuses, I speak in congregations, um, and uh, it has certainly happened many times after I've left that, you know, people have started to ask, well, what can we do um, to bring women as full participants into this community in a new way? What can I do in my religious community? Those are the kinds of questions I want to get people asking.